Hello guys, welcome again to Algem Civil Engineering. Today we are going to talk about how to determine the maximum and minimum spacing of lateral ties in a tied column. The chief purpose of column is to support a beam or girder, floor or roof, and also an arch. It has reinforcements consisting of vertical bars, which is called longitudinal or main reinforcement bar, and held in position by lateral reinforcement or transverse reinforcement called lateral ties. This lateral ties prevents main reinforcing bar from buckling. But do you ever wonder how the spacing of these lateral ties is decided or computed? How to find the maximum and minimum spacing of lateral ties based on ECI code is what we are going to discuss today. So watch this video in full and let's get started. In structural plans, we see details of column reinforcement something like this. 3 at 50, 4 at 100, 5 at 150, and the rest at 250 OC. These details indicates the spacing of lateral ties. The first spacing indicates the minimum spacing, and the latter spacing indicates the maximum spacing. In this case, 50 mm is the minimum spacing and 250 mm is the maximum spacing. According to ACI code, the maximum spacing of lateral ties is governed by the following rules, whichever is lower. First, 16 times main reinforcing bar diameter. Second, 48 times lateral tie bar diameter. And third, least cross sectional dimension of column. Now assuming we have a rectangular column as shown in the figure. The short dimension of the column is 25 cm and the long dimension is 30 cm. The main reinforcing bar is 20 mm bar diameter and the lateral ties is 10 mm bar diameter. What will be the maximum spacing of lateral ties for this column? Using the rules mentioned above from ACI code, first we will find the value of 16 times the main reinforcing bar. The main reinforcing bar is 20 mm bar, so 16 times 20 is equal to 320 mm. Second, we will find the value of 48 times lateral tie bar diameter. The size of lateral tie is 10 mm bar, so 48 times 10 is equal to 480 mm. Third, we will identify the value of the least cross sectional dimension of the column. Based on the figure, 25 cm or 250 mm is the least dimension of the column. So looking back at the results, we have 320 mm, 480 mm, and 250 mm. The least dimension of these results is 250 mm. So therefore, we are going to use a maximum spacing of 250 mm for the lateral ties. Now to get the minimum spacing of lateral ties, the code specifies that the clear spacing must be equal to or greater than 4 over 3 of aggregate diameter. Now assuming we will use an aggregate diameter of 3 fourth inch or 19 mm gravel. The minimum spacing will be 4 over 3 times 19 mm and we will get a value of 25.33 mm or let us say 26 mm. Now if you will observe, the answer we get from the formula 4 over 3 times the aggregate diameter is always bigger than the diameter of the coarse aggregate used. This minimum limit is designed for the concrete mixture to flow readily into spaces between the bars of the column, thereby preventing the possible formation of honeycombs or voids. In actual construction works, the minimum spacing of 50 mm is commonly used, just like the sample I have shown earlier. So therefore, instead of 26 mm, we can also use 50 mm as the minimum spacing. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching and please like this video if you think you have learned something. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and see you.